what do you see from your team during these, these fourth quarters when they really seem to kind of grab control of the game that's not really present during the first quarter? I see from our team that we are, uh, and it, yeah, I think as coaches, I think as coaches up to this point, we've failed to make our team as tough as it needs to be, starting with me. Uh, that's going to change. And um, this business of uh, three quarters, uh, uh, first of all, we beat Boise State in virtually every category, every category except toughness. We walked out there. We decided Boise is tougher than us. And Boise decided, you know, was convinced they're tougher than us too. And until the fourth quarter, we didn't do anything to change that. I mean, uh, outperformed them in a ton of different ways, but we just aren't tough enough. And uh, as a football team, we have to get one hell of a lot tougher. And right now, we're not very tough. We're a team that works hard. We're a team that lifts a lot of weights. We run a lot of sprints. We try really hard in practice. Uh, you know, it's like a boxer. If, he's, if, a, if a boxer's really good at hitting the bag, because he wants to be a great boxer, and he's, and he's as good as can be at hitting the bag, and then all of a sudden you go uh, fight a boxing match, and he won't throw any blows. That's who we are. And we have to be a tougher football team, and right now we're not. You know, right now we've got a bunch of good, nice, jolly guys that will work their ass off at times, but as soon as anybody hits them or any adversity, we, uh, we fold, and, and we fold. And that's obviously coming, uh, starting with me, from us as coaches. We have to improve that, uh, but uh, the toughness level on our team is pathetic right now. How do you instill that, Mike, in a season like that? Well, we're, we're struggling with that. And, and obviously, if you get some suggestions, I'll listen. But I'll be thinking about that all night. And uh, I'll address it tomorrow. And, um, you know, I mean, th th this stuff's got to stop. You know, this business of, you know, uh, empowering the other team, you know. Or then all of a sudden something isn't easy for us, and so we're going to wilt. I mean, no, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have the ball in this game. We have the ball for 40 minutes, and we scored the number of points we did, which was pitifully low. And then uh, they scored the number of they, that, that they did, which is, uh, uh, which is higher than it should be for that. I mean, no, we, we, we have to be a tough team. We have to embrace the fight. We have to appreciate when we get hit that we have, uh, you, you know, you have the uh, just the, the, the chase of working and battling through something. Because there's, there's no great victories without adversity. I mean, there's no great victories unless somebody resists you or, or fights you or makes it hard. Well, no, we wilt. So uh, that's, uh, that, uh, that's got to change. And then, of course, there was uh, some extraneous stuff which I can't comment on. And uh, I really think you ought to comment on as, on as much as possible um, uh, that we had no control over that... Uh, did a certain amount of damage, but the, the biggest thing is, is uh, we're not as tough as we ought to be. Does the manner in which your team responds really positively to big plays and sort of gets momentum going that way, does that lead you to believe that a lot of players are waiting for someone else to make a big play before they get? No, oh, I think there's some of that. I just think collectively, it's like somehow they think they work hard in the weight room and they work hard in practice. All their work's done. Their work's not done. That just primes you to be in a good position to do it out here during the game. You know, I think we embrace practice more than we do games. Coach, what was like the design on, on the last play of the game? Well, when you're 60 yards out, you try to throw it as far as you can, and then maybe they'll catch it. And they might score a touchdown because you don't get any more. What the hell kind of question is that? Here, here you, you don't get to ask any more questions. All right, next question. How much do you feel like your defense brought your offense up tonight in terms of carrying the offense? I thought they improved. I thought our defense improved. I thought our defense improved. I still think uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I, I still think that they are intimidated by Boise State, which there's no excuse for that. Was it your idea to have Coach Wrench on the sidelines for this game? No, his. You think it worked better that way? And are you guys uh, it seemed like he rallied him through um, spots that uh, – uh, uh, you know, like we, we hit the soft spots, and, it, and I thought he's a really uh, clear communicator, good motivator, and they listened to him, and I thought that uh, uh, it did a good job elevating our effort. Could, could you walk us through the process with that final timeout? It seemed like maybe a couple seconds ran uh, before it was Well, we, uh, we got the first down, 
And then, uh, however, there was some disagreement on that, whether or not we got it. And, uh, and uh, you know, certain phases I can't comment on. That's how it went all night. So were you trying to call the timeout sooner than what actually happened? What's that? Were you trying to call the timeout sooner than Yeah, not, yeah, I, believe, yeah I, I can't even get into all this, all this stuff I'd love to. I think you guys ought to watch the game and make as many comments as you possibly can. Fair, fair. Uh, and, and objectively, and uh, you know, uh, you know, someday when I retire, I'll join the party. I'll write a column on this stuff. Coach, did you see the blocked field goal? What happened on that? I didn't think we got the ball up very good. First of all, I thought we had push. I thought yeah, I'll have to see the film. I thought we had push. Um, I thought our linemen need to be again tougher. You know, it's a field goal. Be tougher. Uh, control the line of scrimmage, and I, I didn't think we got the ball up very quickly either. I'll have to see that. Did, did that getting blocked influence your decision not to kick later on in a few situations inside the 25? Uh, not really. I mean, um, not really. I, I thought that, uh, but, you know, I'm sick and tired of, uh, you know, I mean, we got easy field goals that we can certainly hit from Sacagawea Middle School, and we can't hit them uh, in a stadium. Toughness.